Well, I don't feel like doing an official intro right now, you know? I feel like doing it a little bit different today. I'm gonna... Today we're just gonna have a nice, nice laid-back episode. Because I've this is the fourth one I've been recording, and I've, I'm, I'm completely just wasted out. Just tired of recording all in the same day, same exact game, all day. But how are you guys doing? I'm just, uh... I'm going to tell you all a little story today. You know, why not? Just a little bit of a life story. When I was in middle school, one time I was with my friend and I was riding my bike. I, uh, we were going to my place to do some things. And it was a very windy day. Yeah, yeah. So I saw this milk carton. This milk carton lying on the side of the sidewalk. Side of the sidewalk. And I thought it would be funny to ride over it. And, like, break it or make the cap go flying off or something. This was a bad idea, of course. I've made a lot of bad decisions in my life. That was one of the most memorable ones. But, <clears throat> sorry. I went over to the milk carton while I was still riding my bike, so I said, Hey, watch this. As I ran over it, I hit it with my bike, and I did not break the cap. I did not break the bottle, not the bottle, the jug. I did not break anything except, well, I kind of did, but we're, we'll talk about that in later. What happened is I hit it and I went flying off. Well, from my perspective, I hit it and everything went black. But I hit it and I went flying off. And I had landed in the dirt. Well, actually, it was kind of the sidewalk, kind of the dirt. I don't exactly remember where I had landed. <clears throat> I landed somewhere in the dirt or the concrete. Somewhere painful. Something where it would hurt. I got up. I was, you know, covered in scratches and I was bleeding and I had bruises, as you usually do if you fly off your bike while riding it. Um, and I happened to... I was in a lot of pain. So, the person who... I was riding in front of someone's house and... The person came out of their home and they said, Oh my god, I'm so sorry, I can't believe this happened, are you okay? They got me some bandages, and I went home. I walked my bike home. Everything was fine. <clears throat> me and my friend still went to my house. We sat down, I laid down on the couch, and I started screaming in pain. Out of nowhere. And my wrist felt like it had been stabbed multiple times and twisted the knife around. And... I was just screaming in so much pain, and my grandmother, who would watch me when I was in middle school, came in, and she said she was freaking out, she wanted to call my mom, she wanted me to take her, take me to the hospital, because she thought something was wrong with me, she thought I had broken my wrist, and my mom just thought she was being crazy, but she, regardless, she took me to get checked, and I had broken my wrist. There was a small lump sticking out of the bottom of my wrist that I did not notice. That was a bone pushing against my skin that was out of place. It appears that I had landed. My arm, my hand was pressed down. It was the wrist was leaning forward, and well, it was kind of like my my wrist and my arm were at a ninety degree angle with each other when I had landed on the ground. So what happened is it. it the bone had bent and cracked. It was called a green stick break. So I don't. I hear a lot of weird background noises. I don't know what that is. I'll block the mic from them. But I. It's a weird background noise. I don't know what that is. I'll, I'll check that out after the video. I, I died. Okay. Well, I'm not, I'm not focusing on the game. Anyway, back to the story. So in said story, I am uh, had gone to the doctors. They had checked it up, and they said it was a green stick break. It had bent and cracked instead of actually shattering. So, it had just bent and cracked. They didn't need to place it back or anything. Thank goodness. I would have freaked out if they had to place it back. But, they did- But it did- It wasn't a lot of pain, so I took it to get x-rayed. When I picked it up, it was the most disgusting, most gruesome sound I had ever heard. I was just a crack. This disgusting crack. In it. I don't know what those background noises are, but they're weird. Just, whatever. But there was this crack. It was, I think there's something going on with the water pipes. Who knows. 
but there was this, it was just the worst sound. It was, it was like, it was so disgusting. Worst thing I've ever heard. To this day, I've still not heard anything more disgusting than that. But, so I picked it up and it hurt a lot. So we took it into the other room to get x-rayed. And that's where they had officially claimed that it was bent and cracked. It was a green stick break. So we had a cast on it. And then it was, uh, it was a pretty crazy story, you know. It was the first time I'd ever broken a bone. And I had, I've not felt any pain worse than that day as of today. Um, it was just so painful. I, to be honest, I don't know if I would have wished that it would have broken normally. But I don't know if that would be any better, to be honest. I think just moving it around was so painful but not, I think if not being able to move around would be more, I don't know, I've never broken any other bones than that, but, well, one time I did spray them in the finger, but that's, that's a different story for a different day, but, so, we, a week or so later, we go to the doctors, and we're going there to get my real cast, because we just had a beginning cast on there, oh, when I took off the cast for the first time, it itched so bad, and it was just so horrible, I itched my arm until it started bleeding in multiple spots, and it was a strange feeling that... See, breaking my wrist was a strange feeling that I, had, I can never remember anything worse than that. Anything stranger than that. Anything just weirder at all than that. But it was just such a weird thing to think about. That I had moved a bone inside my body into a strange way to where it couldn't function properly. It's just... It just makes you wonder how the human body really works, you know? But... So we go to the doctor's to get the cast, and he tells us all we need is a brace. And I was beginning to question the logic of the other doctors at that point. But <clears throat> weeks later, I am i know I'm skipping ahead a lot, but weeks later I have my brace, and I'm sitting on the bus going back to middle school, as I did. <clears throat> I'm terribly sorry for clearing my throat all the time, but my throat's kind of hurting. And someone sat down on my wrist. Now I was thinking to myself, oh my god, I'm going to have to go get, like, stitches, I'm gonna go get staples, nails put in, probably to get a real cast, but I didn't. And I was very lucky about that. I don't know what fate made me want to tell this story today, but I really have no commentary left in the world. My phone just went off. But that's the story. That's the fun story. I'll just crash into this guy here. Thank you guys so much for listening to my rambling, my life story. Uh, I don't know. Bye. Just, just bye. I wish I found some better sounds no one's ever heard. I wish I had a better voice to sing some better words. I wish I found some chords in an order that is new. I wish I did.